Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past. And today, got a special treat for you. We've looked at quite a few Toy Biz Spider-Man the Animated Series figures over the years, but this is new, and for me, this is definitely new and uh, kind of a challenge in going forward to collecting them. So think of the old Toy Biz Pocket Comics, right? Those were loosely based off Spider-Man the Animated Series, but uh, in terms of, let's say, Sting of the Scorpion, the actual animated episode of Spider-Man the Animated Series, you had Scorpion, you had J. Jonah Jameson, and of course you had Spider-Man. So you take everything awesome about that episode, right? and you plop it into a little play case. Now this is Toy Biz combined with Bluebird Toys and they produced a series of say, Polly Pocket, Mighty Max sort of deal. And for the most part, they were only released in Europe. I've had people say that they got them here in the States, but if you could tell me exactly where you got them, that would be awesome. We kind of had the Pocket Comics. We didn't get these for the most part. I would have had all of these had I ever seen these uh, in these stores. But yeah, this is truly a Spider-Man the Animated Series Mighty Max set, for the most part, for lack of better words. And it has everything you need. And it's a small little compact figure case. You can see right there, 1996 Marvel characters. It's got a little standee right there, kind of folds out in the back. That's really nice. It keeps everything nice and sturdy. And much like a Mighty Max or a Polly Pocket, you simply just open it up. And that's where the fun starts to happen. So yeah, it's basically just a little clamshell which unfolds. And as you can see, if you've ever seen the episode, which kudos to the creators of this, you've definitely seen this episode. And that's why my hat is off to you. Because this is probably the greatest instance of actual Spider-Man the Animated Series toys. Even down to the, the backdrop in the sky, you have the water tower right there, which, hey, remember that? Right there in that little scene right there of the sting of the scorpion. And then you have the little acid spray right there where Scorpion was fighting with Spider-Man. He's kind of got him down on the ground and Spidey jumps out of the way, narrowly missing that big old spray of green acid. And it starts to eat away at the foundation of the water tower. And as in pure fashion, you can have it where the water tower can fall over. That's awesome. I absolutely love that they put that in there. You can squash old Spidey just as it did in the cartoon. Very cool. That's just the starters for this set, to be honest with you. So you can go ahead and re fix that right there. It just kind of snaps right in. And as we continue in the episode, we head off to Oscorp, right? Scorpion goes a little bonkers, wants to get at the core and fix himself by getting at some radiation. And you simply have this swing out Oscorp sign. And then you have the reactor room where Spider-Man and Scorpion do battle. Scorpion even sprays some more acid, right? Eats a hole right into the control system. And bingo bango, yeah, that's in the set. Now, I do wish that they made the control panel button red, right? I'd bet my web shooter that's the control panel button. But hey, you know what? Still, it exists, and that's the best part. So old J. Jonah Jameson can hunt over and stop those neutron-absorbing control rods, right? Which, hey, speaking of which, when you go and fold this down right here, you get a nice platform of all the broken parts and pieces and destruction that Scorpion has been inducing. And you even have the door, right? The door from the animated series, which if you look at it up close and then you look at the episode, yeah, the coloring might be different, but that's a perfect recreation. Thank you for watching Spider-Man the Animated Series. This is quite fantastic. And you go ahead and you push the little control panel right there and it swings open, right? It's a nice little play feature. And yes, just like in the animated series, there's the neutron absorbing control rods. Now they're a little bit different in color and shape and whatever, but hey, you gotta stop them from exploding. And that's what we aim to do with this little Polly Pocket Mighty Max case, right? So that's very cool in and of itself. Closes, opens, you can do that over and over. Nice little play function, I will say that. However, with the awesomeness that is this Oscorp Underground Reactor playset, you're gonna need some figures to really drive home the story, right? And that's where, of course, you got Spider-Man and the Scorpion and a couple web slinging accessories, which these are very teeny tiny, like the Scorpion right here. Now there's no articulation with these guys, but what I really like is one, the attention to detail. He's painted fairly well. They even got the little stinger on his tail. 
and it looks exactly like Matt Gargan did as the Scorpion in Spider-Man the Animated Series. So hats off to him once again. Spider-Man is a little bit pre-posed for me, right? I think being that this is a second hand that I got, I think a lot of the paint has rubbed off. He should have black on the mask, white on the eyes, a little bit more red here and there on the costume. And then you have this little web splatter accessory right there, which I'll show you exactly what that does. And then on top of it, you have a really nice web slinging effect, which... I mean, isn't it nice to get Spider-Man figures with web accessories? Huh? They did it back in the 90s. Sure, they can do that now, right? And then you have Mighty Max, the hero. Wait a minute, he's not supposed to be here. So, going back to the playset, you'll notice all these little nodules right here, right? These little prongs that stick out in various locations on the playset, from the doors to the Oscorp and everywhere. So you can asphyx the webbing to these and really just... Bring this playset to life. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you and tell you, as a kid, this really wasn't my thing. I had some of the pocket comics here and there, and I really would not have appreciated this back in the day. I was more for the action figures, but having this nowadays, having this all set up, having Spider-Man swinging around Oscorp, reenacting the Sting of the Scorpion episode, man oh man, is that just awesome. I am so happy to have that. You can even have Spider-Man is fixed out. He's doing all kinds of acrobatics all around the room, dodging all kinds of scorpions attacks, trying to save J. Jonah Jameson. It's awesome. And just in terms of how it looks, how it sets up, how it's presented as a story, right? From start to finish, man, they absolutely nailed it. This is a fantastic place it so i highly recommend it if you can get one and i definitely highly recommend it if you're a spider-man the animated series fan and as i try and find these collect these yeah we will be having even more videos on these i'm obsessed these are fantastic but there's quite a few sets and they are quite hard to come by to be honest with you and just in terms of having fun with these sets having everything work all the little parts and pieces but the challenge is mine but hey if you all you out there are listening and you have these and you want to get rid of them? Hey, keep me in mind, right? Shoot me an email. So just in terms of looking at the old Toy Biz figures, Scorpion, Spider-Man, and then having this really cool playset. Man, it does it make for a great display. And I love, as always, little miniatures, everything. Having Scorpion be able to hold him as an action figure. Have Spider-Man being able to hold himself as an action figure. Throw old J. Jonah Jameson flat top in there, right? Pickle Puss. This is all your fault, by the way, just FYI. And let's be honest, even if you didn't have Spider-Man, you just had Mighty Max, I'm sure he could take care of himself, right? Just electrocute Scorpion. That's how to take him out. That slows him down. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the, well, brand new for its day, right? Back in 1996, 1997. This is the Oscorp Underground Reactor set. Highly recommend it. Again, as I said, as we get into more Spider-Man the Animated Series compact cases, We'll be having a lot of fun with these. And my true hopes is that, yeah, eventually I'll be able to get every single set. Like I said, there's a lot, but I love a good challenge. Hey, maybe one of these days I'll make it over to Europe again and uh, maybe we'll go to a couple thrift stores, something like that. I don't know. But in either case, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this compact case. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing now? Come below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spider-Man the Animated Series. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, just when you thought we were done with Spider-Man the Animated Series, it's never done. There's always something new and awesome to check out. And old Toy Shiz will be right there with the videos. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.